Hi guys, welcome to the Art of Server. So if you recall from uh, earlier this year, I made a video about this IBM uh, 46M0997 SAS expander. And in that video, I showed you how to uh, drive 24 hard drives with one of these cards and an HPA card. So since then, I've gotten a lot of questions. And one of them was, can I daisy chain SAS expanders? And the answer is yes. You can, you can connect uh, additional SAS expanders via another SAS expander. And so I have this kind of uh, insane setup here. I have a 9248i, which is uh, a Lenovo card that's basically equivalent to a 90, uh, 9210i. And by the way, I have these on sale um, at my store if you want to pair up a really nice card for one of these expanders. I like these cards because the ports are vertical and so you can see how uh, you really only need a very short distance of uh, SAS cable to connect them. So anyway, check those out. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check out this card. But anyway, I have one of these HBA cards and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven SAS expanders. And if you can uh, follow the, the cables here. I have one cable from the HBA to the first expander. I have the second port of that expander going into the next expander. And then I have uh, that port uh, or the, that second expander connected to the third expander. And then the third uh, connected to the fourth, to the fifth, to the sixth, and to the seventh. Okay. And this actually works. All of this works. So, you know, this is kind of an extreme setup in the sense that um, this would give you, uh, let's say we have seven cards, we have four ports going out the back, so that's 28 ports going out the back, 28, uh, each port carrying four SAS lanes, so that is uh, 80 plus 32, so that's 112 hard drives you can drive with the ports facing out. Now in addition to that, you have one extra port here that is available um, from the last expander, and you also have one more port here uh, on the HBA. So in that case, uh, you have uh, two more ports, which gives you another eight hard drives uh, connections, another eight uh, SAS lanes, basically. So that's uh, 112 plus eight is 120. So with this setup, with a single controller, you can drive 120 hard drives. And I'm gonna, uh, this, obviously this machine does not have 120 hard drives for you, um, for me to plug in to show you that all 120 hard drives are going to work. But I do have, not this cable, I have four hard drives hooked up to this cable and I'll plug them into uh, a few of these expanders and show you that the hard drives do show up. So you get just get a sense that this actually works. Um, now, of course, this isn't the setup that you would typically want to have because um, for one, if any of these cables come loose, especially uh, the ones that are closer to the HBA controller, uh, all the other expanders will disappear with it, right? Because they're daisy chained together. And so that could potentially cause a lot of problems if you accidentally unpull, uh, unplug the cable. And, and also uh, because basically all the hard drives are communicating to the system through this one cable to the HBA, that uh, is going to present itself as a bottleneck. So this is not uh, a normal setup that I would normally recommend. But if all you care about is the number of hard drives you can control, and you don't really care about performance that much, you don't care about the bottlenecks, you know, you just need a lot of hard drives connected to a, a system with the least uh, number of HBA controllers, uh, well, this would be something like it, okay? So anyway, I've already got this fired up. I've got, um, I think you can see from the overhead camera, these uh, are all blinking, so they're all powered on. And they're, the only HBA card in here is this one here. And by the way, um, these all these cards have been updated to the latest firmware. I have a video that shows you how to do that if you have one of these cards and it's not working properly because uh, what I find is that with the older firmwares, um, sometimes some of the, the SAS lanes don't work. So like you'll, you'll connect 16 hard drives and only 14 will show up or something like that. So if you're having problems like that, make sure to update the firmware. I'll um, put a card up in the video here so uh, you can check out that video on how to update the firmware on these. If you buy these from my store, they will already be fully updated because I actually test them uh, completely with all, um, all ports. So I, I make sure that everything actually works. But anyway, all right, let's go ahead and just to start this off, I'm going to plug this into 
uh, the first expander. And let's go take a look. All right, so hopefully you can see this here. Uh, this is a, a little script that I wrote that just refreshes uh, the output from LSCSI and, and some of the uh, logs uh, messages from DMessage. So in case there are errors, I can see them. But you'll see uh, the SAS expanders here. So IBM ESXS uh, SAS expander backplane. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. And you'll see that now I, I have four hard drives that just showed up and that's because I just plugged that cable in. Okay, so that's uh, from the first backplane. Uh, so we know that backplane works. I'll go ahead and unplug that cable and we'll plug it into some of the other backplanes just to show you that this is all uh, actually works. All right, so I'll go ahead and unplug this and let's just, you know, random, let's say we'll, we'll plug it in the fourth backplane. Okay, now before I plug this in, you'll uh, take a look on the screen here and you'll see that those four hard drives have disappeared because I just unplugged the cable. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, plug this in. All right, so give it a little bit of uh, time. Uh, there we go. So the four hard drives showed back up and that is through the fourth backplane. So I'll do it again, I'll unplug this and you'll see that the hard drives have now disconnected and disappeared. And uh, we'll go ahead, let's say, I don't know, let's do the sixth one. All right, so we got it plugged into the six back plane and you'll see that the four hard drives showed up again um we'll do it on the very very last and you know what instead of plugging in one of these uh ports i'll plug it from um well shoot this cable won't reach let's see will this one reach yeah this one might be a little bit longer let me try this one there's another uh four hard drives this this server only has eight hard drive base but there are four hard drives here so let's plug those in in fact you know what let's let's plug uh all cables in so we'll we'll see we should see um, eight hard drives show up here. All right, so there's four right now and there's a few more coming up. All right, so that's eight hard drives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so I got two cables plugged in, uh, each carrying four uh, SAS lanes to four hard drives. So that's why we got um, eight hard drives. And so you can see that I can pretty much plug uh, the hard drives into any of these backplanes and they're going to show up. And so, yes, this setup, uh, as crazy as it might be, uh, can drive 120 hard drives. And you know what? Just for fun, I'll unplug this one. I want to plug this into the HPA port just to, just to show you that this, this other one works, okay? So let's see if I can get in there. All right. So... Again, you'll see that uh, we still have eight hard drives and that's because I've got one cable directly into the HBA, one cable into the last backplane that's daisy at the end of the daisy chain of backplanes and they all show up. All right, so yeah, um, this is a little crazy. I don't know what chassis you would have that would give you 120 hard drive uh, bays, but if you want to do something crazy like that, you actually can. And so, and this would be the way to go about it. And also, uh, if you don't have all the PCI slots, this machine is uh, kind of a special motherboard. It has 11 PCI slots. But if you don't have um, enough PCI slots to drive this many uh, backplane expanders, uh, I, there's another video. Uh, I'll leave a link, uh, a, a card up in, in the, uh, around the section to that video. But I, there's another video where I show you how you can power these backplanes uh, with a um, powered PCI extender uh, adapter thing the, the the thing that the guys use for gpus in those crypto mining rigs those things you know a lot of people are dropping out of that game so uh you can find those things for really cheap nowadays um and you can use one of those things to power uh these uh backplanes so even if you don't have the pci slots these are not really pci devices they just use the pci slot for power and so as long as you can uh bring power to them and you can connect them to an hba card uh, like this, uh, they should work. So anyway, uh, there you have it guys. So 120 hard drives with one HBA controller and that's how you do it. And yes, you can daisy chain SAS expanders and yes, it will work now. Okay. That said one caveat. Um, I know, you know, I'm showing you guys this and 
no, uh, no doubt there's going to be someone out there who's watching this video and he's going to say, hey, you know, how extreme can I go, right? And you know who you are, right? Okay, so um, keep in mind, the SAS controller has a limit of how many hard drives it can drive, okay? So this is a SAS 2008 chipset on this um, 9248i card. And I believe, now don't quote me on this, you can look it up on, this, on Broadcom's website to find the exact specs, but I believe that controller uh, has a maximum uh, of 256 addressable storage devices. Okay, so that means you can, you can run a setup like this and keep expanding it and connect up to 100, uh, or sorry, uh, 256 uh, storage devices. Beyond that, uh, it won't be able to uh, handle that. Uh, and that's just a limitation of uh, the, the HBA card. Now, you can get, I think, again, don't quote me on this, but I believe the newer chipset, the 2308, uh, can control, I think, something like 512 or maybe 1024. I, I don't remember. Uh, it's basically, they added an extra bit, and so um, it basically doubled the, uh, double or quadrupled um, the the number of devices that can be controlled by that single controller. So, so yes, this, this, you can't do this, uh, you know, to some infinite setup. There is a limitation on, by the HBA of how many devices it can, it can control by itself. Um, but uh, you can daisy chain uh, a bunch of these uh, expanders to control um, up to that many uh, hard drives with a single controller. All right. So anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that. Uh, hopefully this answers that question that I've been getting. Um, you know, for a while now, and, and I just wanted to show you that it's actually possible. So, uh, hope you like this. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and be sure to subscribe to uh, check out more videos from me. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Bye bye.